Frowns and the Woo Woo. So happy you guys could join us today. I am Gail Nicholson, resilience coach, host of the Spotlight, miracle making queen with Creative Command Coaching and Consulting. We have with us today Miss Krista Ducharme, intuitive healer, teacher, life coach from Dimensional Healing with Krista on Facebook. And of course, Joanne Angelberry Cologne, certified personal trainer, intuitive healer, cosmic energy reader, and all around great lady at Holistic Fitness New York. It's so good to see you ladies. I look forward to Tuesdays. It is like a spot of sunshine in my week getting to see you guys and chat with you. So uh, let's start with Joanne this week. How are you doing, love? I am well and excited because it's 63 degrees where I am. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, yeah. 63. Ooh. The sun is out. It is beautiful. When I left my house this morning, I walked out the door and I'm like, oh, my God. It's so darn nice out. It's so warm. It's so hot. I'm like, oh, wow. I said, spring is here. I'm like, but we're still in winter, so let's not get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it, yeah, it is a delight to see the sun and to feel the heat and um, looking forward to it. Because from what I understand, it's going to be warm for the next in two or three days. Okay. So I'm happy. That's Very a nice happy. little pre-spring look for you. That's awesome. That's yes. awesome. That is. I'm 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 a little jealous because we aren't that warm. <laughs> yeah, no, we went from years. having that. <laughs> yes. I'm very excited because soon it will be um short sleeve season and before I know it, I'll be in tank top. So yes, yes, yes. And awesome. short, so yay. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I want to I want to uh, really quickly just say hello to Norma and Tracy. Thanks so much for joining us already. Um, mm -hmm. And how are you doing, Krista? I'm doing I'm doing awesome. I got my hair cut. <laughs> not only do you have a haircut, you have a beautiful new space to talk to us from. Have a new space. <laughs> yeah. So, it. yeah, Kevin decided that the kitchen, he was like, OK. The white wall just has to go and we can't paint it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm up on the third floor now. Um, yes, we have three floors and I'm up on the third floor and it's a little room that we're, we're using as our office. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have, you know, decorations to make it look a little less blah for us <laughs> on um three crowns in the woo woo so <laughs> but I yeah so it. i think it's adorable it's a lot of fun i'm i'm okay so i'm gonna say thank you this is a closet a wardrobe provided by the government so all the u.s taxpayers i want you to see this is where your money has been spent so thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, that's great. <laughs> I have no problem letting people know where their money is getting spent and thanking them for the contribution. Phenomenal. <laughs> it's absolutely phenomenal. I love it. Awesome. But yeah, we're doing, we're, uh, other than we just had a nice dip and we're back into winter weather, but. I, I am like Joanne. I realize that spring is just around the corner and so. I'm taking the opportunity to enjoy my snuggly warms a little bit longer. So, well, yeah. As I was just listening to that, I was checking the temperature on my phone. Mm -hmm. It's 76 where I'm at. It is a beautiful, sunny, perfect day outside. For the last two days, I've been working with the garage in the garage with the garage door open enjoying mm -hmm. it and um i had to come back inside to the office today <laughs> to actually broadcast um because that's where everything's set up for me but um i i i almost feel bad almost almost <laughs> almost <That's okay. laughs> because in about two months when you guys are all grinning that it's 76 degrees where you're at i'm gonna be like it's 135 okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, so see, I'm gonna let you enjoy this because I'm gonna have I'm gonna have more 76 days yeah. than you will. So. Yes. <laughs> True story. We get a little window of normal or like perfect at the beginning of like spring and then at fall. We get these little short windows of perfect weather and it goes so fast. It really does. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I'm sure. Well, it that's does. like here too. We'll have yeah. one day of spring and it goes right into summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> exactly. Well, I, mm -hmm. I do want to say welcome to everybody who's joined us so far. And I want to make sure that you are aware of Sue at Class Act Imports. She is uh, very much a, a wonderful supporter of our show and we are a supporter of hers. So please make sure that when we're talking about this week's crystals, you keep in mind to go visit Sue to find yours. All right. Mm -hmm. Yay. All right, ladies. Yep. So, um, Let's begin this week with Krista's Crystals. Oh, I'm first this week. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> Yay. All right, guys. So the Crystal of the Week this week is Amethyst. And so I have a, I have a few up here um, that I brought and to join us. Oh, they're not get, showing up very nicely. Sorry about that. This one is a bit lighter. So amethyst is fantastic. This one's grape jelly. Ooh. I love, isn't this one gorgeous? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, it looks like grape jelly, I swear. That's why, that's why its name is grape jelly. And then I have this one. Isn't this one a marvelous? It's just the points of amethyst. Mm. Gosh, I love it. It's so soothing. Yeah. It is. And when I do crystal healings um, and use this, it's wonderful because, you know, it goes right there at the crown. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in any case, so back to what amethysts are, which by the way, I know Class Act Imports has some right now in stock. Yep. Um, amethyst, I call it the master healer because it is the catch-all um, crystal that, mm -hmm. that does pretty much everything. Um, you name it, it does it. And um, <clears throat> it's a very abundant crystal throughout the globe. Now, this grape, grape color is pretty much only found in Brazil. All right. So if you in Uruguay. All right. So if you want Uruguay actually is their grapier color, whereas Brazil is, is a little bit of the lighter purple. Okay. and stuff but you can find amethyst everywhere and it is a fantastic crystal to carry as i said it's great for things i'm thinking someone is looking for something for addiction because i keep hearing addiction 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 and it is it actually is a fantastic one for addiction um and if you're somebody who's trying to kick a habit and when i say addiction it can be anything it can be smoking it can be alcohol it can be drugs it can be e it can be eating mm -hmm. overeating and under eating eating things that you shouldn't be eating <laughs> to eat more things you should be eating <laughs> however you want to look at this it could be the fact that you um over schedule your time you know there are many different mm, the addiction word to addiction, drama and chaos <laughs> addiction to drama and chaos. Thank you. That is another addiction people have. So um, it, it's a really great one. And I don't know why, but that were and now that I've been saying all this stuff, it's like funny enough. Okay, now I can move on to something else because the <laughs> words are, it's like it's all lightened up again. I was like, okay, someone needed to hear that. <laughs> I am standing just as the other thing I need you guys to know. I now am standing. So I will be moving around a lot more yeah. <laughs> than when I was sitting. Um, so it's a great one for that. But you know what it'll, it's really also good for is calming. So say you're somebody who has difficulty sleeping. And I'm not talking it's difficulty sleeping because, you know, you're going to bed later or too early or whatever. I'm just someone who might um, have a lot on their mind. Having an amethyst under your pillow, actually, when I say that, I should say put it inside your pillowcase because then that way it stays in your pillow <laughs> rather than falling out mm -hmm. down the bed. Uh, that, that does happen. I've been known to find lots of crystals behind my, <laughs> behind my mattress. Uh, it, you'll find that it'll actually settle you down. If you have a mattress and box spring and you're somebody who, um, maybe you're having difficulty sleeping and you don't want to disturb your partner, you can actually, between the mattress and box spring, put a line of amethyst and that will help to keep your sleep settled so it doesn't disturb 
your partner's sleep. Nice. So it's a fantastic crystal for that as well. Um, I, it was really interesting when I was remembering yesterday was International Women's Day because I, it, it was like, again, perf- it's a perfect week because it's amethyst <laughs> week. And I'm like, that is so fantastic because it not only is it a calming stone, it's an empowering stone. So it's something that a lot of people wear um, to empower themselves because the color purple is related to royalty. Mm -hmm. And amethyst is encrusted in a lot of jewels. The whether you, you pick a kingdom that has jewels and you'll find that they have their own set of amethyst um, encrusted uh, accoutrements. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Barb, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, fanfare. I don't know the, the you know the things that make them look pretty. Uh, accessories. <laughs> accessories. Yes, I'm. I don't know if I showed up with that. Someone might say, Chris, I think that's a little much. Uh, <laughs> you should hear the voice in my head right now. <laughs> Did you hear the joke about divorce Barbie? No. She comes with all Ken's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just had to put that out there. Our guides are, are just having a party right now. So I think sorry so. for interrupting you. <laughs> No, it's okay, because there's somebody who's needing to hear some of this, the antics of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, so amethyst is a great stone to have in your your toolbox, whether it's in your jewelry box because you wear it, Mm -hmm. or if it's in your toolbox in terms of um, a tumbly stone to have accessible to to put in your pocket, in your bra, Mm -hmm. you pick which side girls, it's all good. (laughs) Um, Or in your, or in you, you guys know about, do you guys know about the crystal pocket in your jeans? Oh, I've never trusted that, that pocket. Oh, well, it, it actually works. Uh, (laughs) I prefer, I prefer my, my jeans to have deeper pockets, but you know, that little, that little crystal pocket does work. Just an FYI, Uh, not as well as, you know, the, the bra, but you know, Hey, whatever, whatever you need. At least if you use the pocket, the crystals don't hit the floor when you get undressed every night. (laughs) Just talking about myself here because I've completely forgotten. I put them there. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes, I've had I've had my moments where it's like I undo my bra and all of a sudden it's like, well, so that's what that's why are they all were. <laughs> One of those days you go to the doctor's office and you're three literally three stone heavier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh wait, hold on. I need to take out the exact my my extra weight. <laughs> Got a little ballast here in the double D's. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. All right. But, so uh, just to acknowledge, we have hit underwear reference already. So yes, carry on. Yep. <laughs> we, we do have to. Acknowledge. Hey, but we're keeping it up top today, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ladies are so much fun. Oh. Never dull moment on the phone. No. <laughs> no. And so you true. were doing so well. You, we're 16 minutes in. Oh, well, we're... <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, but um, the amethyst, in any case, is a great stone to have. It is one of the five. I mentioned this last week when we had rose quartz. It's one of the five. It goes along with the top five. I always say for beginners to have for crystals and to start working with because it's very calming and it really does help build the confidence. It really does help. Like I said, we, we discussed addictions, all kinds of addictions. Um, I, it, it, which in, which also helps with breaking habits. However, there's another stone that I prefer, but we won't discuss that one today because it's all about amethyst. Uh, but if you are I'll wanting to get it to, out of her after the show and post it, 
Uh-huh. <laughs> I was going to say, if you guys do want to know about what the breaking habit zone is, yes. just um, comment below. Comment below, and I'll let you guys know. Um, it's not a top secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to stay on topic. Um, and so, yeah, but it is. It's a great stone. I am going to read what, because this is the book. So it's really kind of funny. I keep referencing the um, the Crystal Spirits Oracle by Colette Baron Reed, because these are the cards I used, the crystal cards I used this time to select the stones for the 22 weeks that I pulled for. Mm-hmm. And so I want to make sure that I reference what her thought is, mainly because it, there is that connection. And so I want to keep acknowledging it. So it, excuse me while I play trombone a minute because I forgot <laughs> to bring the glasses up. Um, familiarity, the essential meaning is familiarity Uh, the unconscious habits, old patterns in need of being released. So this is a great time to do all that. Mm -hmm. And we have a new moon. Don't we have a new moon this week there, Miss Jo? Yes, we do. We'll be talking about that shortly. Mm -hmm. There we go. See, (laughs) and so it is. It's a really great thing or great crystal to have. Um, I know you three. I know you three. Yeah. You three. (laughs) Somebody has a mouse in their pocket. Um, (laughs) No, Sue just showed up in the comments, actually. (laughs) Oh, okay. So then she's the third. All right. But um, so you guys all have amethyst. What is what has been your experience? I'm wearing mine today. Excellent. So Joanne, what's your experience with your amethyst? Oh, it is definitely my go to. um, Interesting enough uh, for pain. It's one of my go-tos when I'm experiencing a lot of pain. And as there are many people out there I've been chatting with uh, for the past week or two, it, this is a very high um, um, high pain week. I don't even know if I said that right. But, <laughs> but no, people are really experiencing that. their pain at a very high intensity because there's a lot of energy going on. Mm-hmm. So for mm-hmm. me, Amethyst is a really good piece to wear, whether I'm wearing it as a necklace or, in, you know, in my pocket. Sometimes I actually keep the amethyst very close to my hip because that's where I have a lot of the pain. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's my go-to for pain, my go-to for healing, my go-to to to remind me that I am, um, I am a queen. So I wear it for many reasons. (laughs) There you go. There you go. I like those. I like that. I am a queen. I'm going to, you know what? I think I'm going to take a picture of grape jelly and put that Mm, I am a idea. queen. Yes, because she's very regal. So yes, I'm going to, and then I'll put your name. <laughs> <laughs> so Gail, what's your, what, how do you use amethyst? Oh, geez. Well, I first got introduced to amethyst because of 12 step. You were talking about addictions, right? Mm-hmm. And one of my favorite stories that I learned back then was that the Greeks used to carve their chalices out of amethyst um, Mm -hmm. with the thought behind that, that they could continue drinking all night without getting sloppy drunk. (laughs) Because the, the, the higher vibrations of the amethyst balanced out the lower dense, more dense vibrations of the alcohol. So Mm kind of like Red Bull and vodka, you keep dancing, (laughs) you know, kind of (laughs) thing. (laughs) So that's one of my favorite stories about it. So I have a lot of amethyst and my oldest daughter was born in February. So I have a lot of amethyst and much of my amethyst tends to walk away every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, magical stone that is. It Uh, is. (laughs) But yeah, I have have some really nice pieces, which I kind of want to pop back and show you. Um, first of all, I'll show you this one. This one up here, I picked up in Sedona, um, just recently, about a year or so ago, but this is pink amethyst. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's just, and it's druzy. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. For those of you who don't know what druzy is, can you keep doing, see the sparkle that she's showing? Actually, I got a better one to do that with. Keep talking. (laughs) 
Okay, but that's what Jersey is, is it's little tiny crystals that are on top of the matrix of the crystal, and that creates a Jersey. Right. And so I just wanted, oh, there she goes. Oh, that's a gorgeous Jersey. Mm -hmm. And it's also a black amethyst. Oh, that's gorgeous. So, oh. Yeah, I am. I am rather addicted to amethyst, actually. Um, yes. and, you know, ametrine as well, where it mixes with citrine. <gasps> yes, Those are beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So yeah, yeah. and I've like I literally I've got like six foot tall pieces of amethyst. Um, I like. I love the darkness of your grape jelly, though. Yeah, isn't grape jelly awesome? <coughs> yeah, I get most this of mine down. much later. Yeah. Yeah, I um, had a bigger one um, before I moved to Australia. It was about, oh, I don't know, about three inches. Actually, um, Sherry Turner, who watches us sometimes, she actually is the caretaker of it now. Oh. Um, so, Sherry, if you have the amethyst, take a picture and share. Um, but, yeah, that one was a nice dark purple as well. And when I uh, left it behind in the States when we moved to Australia, I ran in, I forget. I was doing something and I saw this little piece and I was like, oh, it's coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, because it is hard to get the really rich purple ones. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I, I am like you. I have quite a collection of amethyst, mm -hmm. but I also have a bowl of amethyst that its sole purpose is to give to people. Nice. And so, like, when people come visit, you know, not everybody, but a majority of people, when they come visit me, always leave with a crystal in their pocket of some sort. <laughs> right. Amethyst is, is usually it. But, I yeah. I love it. I, I have a crystal, and I'm like, here, you need to take this with you. <laughs> do you do to people like my now ex-husband, but at the time boyfriend did to me, where he hands you a crystal and go, here, this wants to be with you. And you go, they go, what is it? What's it for? And I go, you'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, no, I don't do that. I usually tell people what, I give them an idea. If I'm handing them a crystal, I give them an idea of what it, uh, of what the possibilities may be. I said, now those are the possibilities, but you're going to figure out exactly what your journey with this stone is. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah he did that, that to me with a piece of carnelian and it took me a long time to figure out that it was, he gave it to me because I was still grieving. Mm. Okay. That's interesting, interesting stuff. Yeah. So he wasn't yeah. willing to tell me, you know, you're a real downer to be around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a great happy stone. It it, you know, yeah. I have it is. Yeah. It is. I mean, there could have been many other things that could have shown up with that stone as well, besides weaving. Yeah. yeah. Rather than pointing out and say, well, this is why I think you need it. You let, <laughs> you, you, let you figure it out for yourself. Yep. Yep. You know. Which is always a great thing because then it be, then it opens up the insight and the the um the curiosity of like, hmm. What is the stone going to do for me today? And that is 100%. You nailed it because that's when I got hooked. Mm -hmm. Oh, this does this. What does that do? And exactly. I was off and running. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. So, Joanne, are you ready for your segment, my dear? Of course, I'm always ready. Always ready to talk about energy. Awesome. <laughs> and and I'm, so, I'm going to sort of keep it right in alignment with our amethyst because... Um, Besides the fact, like Krista was saying about using amethyst for sleep and putting it under the pillow or putting it under the mattress, um, I found the well, I can't say I found, I read it somewhere, I don't know, I never can remember where I read the things I read because I read so much, but another really great place to put the amethyst for those who put their hair up in a bun, stick it right in that bun. Hmm. I think and I shared that yesterday. What's that? I think I shared that meme yesterday. Yeah. So besides it being, um, well, I actually heard about this a long time ago. So besides it being about helping you calm yourself down for sleep, it activates the crown chakra. It's mm -hmm. also really good for those who suffer with migraines. So there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of um, healing that this one little crystal can do when putting it right in, right in 
the bun. And I've, I've been doing it ever since, and it's quite interesting. Nice. <laughs> but anyway, as we speak about amethyst, hmm. and Gail mentioned it before about um, amethyst is the stone for February. Well, yeah. the moon today, let's talk about the moon. The moon is an Aquarius energy, and that is the actual birthstone for Aquarius, which is amethyst. Interesting enough. So it just moves into Aquarius today. It will be there for another today is Tuesday, Wednesday, give and take another two days, because then we'll have our new moon in Pisces. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that new moon is going to be quite interesting um, for those who are aware. Pisces is a water sign, very emotional water sign, a little more emotional than the so than the than the Scorpio and the Cancer, only because with Pisces. The energy is not just their own, but we also tend to pick up others. And when we think about new moon energy, it is really Pisces is the 12th house energy on the astro astrological chart. So it's about ending things, even though it's a new moon, which is about bringing in new things. So it's a combination of both when we think about it. Mm -hmm. And it's right in alignment to moving into a um, Aries energy, which is about new things. So you have that combination for this new moon to really start focusing on what it is you want to to birth this new moon's energy. And for that matter, even reflect back to the last new moon that we had and ask yourself, have you manifested the energy of that new moon's energy? And if so, great. And if not, perhaps you can utilize this energy to do just that. For the new moon, which is coming up on the, do, 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 what day is it? Saturday, which is what? Saturday's date is, what day is Saturday? The 13th? 14th? 13th. Really? 13th. Yeah. 13th, yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. And quite interesting, when we think about Pisces, talking about Pisces energy, on the 15th of March, our mm. wonderful planet Mercury is moving out of Aquarius. So the energy that Mercury has been in in reference to the, the logical, the analytical, the brainstorming, the overthinking, that's <laughs> going to be moving out of Aquarius and moving into Pisces. So our conversations with one another may become a little more mushy. Aw, <laughs> squishy. <Aww. laughs> that's what I just heard, mushy. We may become a little more mushy in nice. our conversation and even more so mushy with ourselves because i mean i don't know about you about you guys but i know i talk to myself a whole lot the things <laughs> i say to myself some days and, and the pep talks and all i can't imagine myself getting mushy but hey if that's what's going to show up <laughs> i'm taking it so yeah so we're gonna have um at least at that point as of the 15th pisces is going to be sitting in let's see mercury the sun and Venus, and also um, just for a couple, uh, maybe a day or two after that, also the moon. So there's going to be four planets that's going to have a lot of water energy in it, which means oh boy. Again, we are going to be emotional. Now, I want to I wanna sort of help you people out in reference to your emotions. Being that we're going to be emotional, it may very well mean that things are going to surface that's going to enhance us being emotional. <laughs> and it's, and mean, it's really fun. You mean shit's really going to go really down. Fun. What's that? You mean shit's going to go down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really funny because when I was researching all this information about the cosmic energy for today to the rest of the week, I said, oh, this is going to be so damn funny because on Sunday this week, I'm going to be going with my daughter and my two nieces for them to look at... Um, dresses for my daughter's wedding i'm like really and we're gonna be emotional i'm like damn i'm an emotional individual to begin with i really have to be emotional on this weekend can anybody really help me and send me some healing energy to keep those tears from coming out and letting them just pull back so my I best recommendation for you is waterproof eyeliner <laughs> oh, yeah. I wear, yeah i wear waterproof eyeliner all the time <laughs> But it would just make easier if I did not have to cry because it's like it's only it's only my nieces trying on a dress. I shouldn't yeah. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be that bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my gosh, she is going yeah. to melt in a puddle of saline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
so that's 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 what I was coming up with. I'm like, oh, this weekend's gonna be a fun one because all of these DM planets are in Pisces, and my sun sign's in Pisces, so I'm an emotional being to begin with. I can't even imagine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a roll of a, a, a box of tissue paper ready to go just in case. But who go. knows? There you go. And we also have today's the ninth. So we also have in two days, we have our master number day, which is March 11th. And we all know how I love master numbers. Mm -hmm. And I invite you on March 11th to really take the time to utilize that energy to empower yourself. Empower yourself. I'm trying to figure out the numbers for that day. 11. Oh, look at that. The math went off of my head. It's actually going to be a one day, overall 10, to be honest, okay. which means a really new way of looking at things in regards to partnerships. Because when we think about 11, master number 11 is actually the master healer for partnerships. So how can you look at your partnership in a different way? What mm -hmm. can you create differently than, than you've been doing in the past? Mm -hmm. So moving forward, things can get lighter and easier, especially during this time that we have four planets in Pisces energy mm. and just utilizing this energy to your highest good so you can feel good about yourself and you can also feel good about others as well and use your amethyst to help you heal in addition to our stone from last week which was rose quartz mm -hmm. so those two yeah. stones together I think you I think you'd have a, a, a very powerful day of healing and love all in one who couldn't yeah. ask for something more than that? Right? Absolutely. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, so that's our energy. I think that's I think that's enough for now <laughs> that we can just stay focused on. And um yeah. Awesome. And I'll bring more more exciting news um as we go along the course of the weeks to come. Fantastic. Thank you for that report, Joanne. Um, I didn't My mention question. it before, but it came to mind as you were talking about this week's dates. My youngest grandchild, Tatum, turns two tomorrow. So her, oh, this is a nine you. for her. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take her to the aquarium and uh, have fun watching Cute. the fishies and stuff. Yes, yes. Now, um, does she like water? I know she's only two, but does she like water? Mm -hmm. She does. She's been yes. in floaties and in the pool since maybe three months old, if that. Um, yes. And she, she, the biggest kerfuffle is that she really doesn't want to wear a life jacket. She would much rather grandpa hold her. She's fine with that. She'll sit on the seat, you know, the little stoop and stuff. Everything's great. So she's also extremely fearless. So both grandma and grandpa are going, you know, Hawkeye on her because <laughs> she, she'll yeah. look at us, you know, with her hand on the railing to the pool and start going to go that step. And it's like, no, 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 there's no grown up in that pool. Get away from that pool. You know, yeah. and she, she yeah. gets it. She's like kind of teasing, like, I want to go. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So I, but yeah she's actually, a water baby for sure. Yeah. I asked that question because my astrologer, which you both know, Kendra Greer, mm -hmm. he finds mm -hmm. it so interesting that I am not a water person. And he realized one of the reasons why I'm not a water person, even though, yes, my sun sign is is a water sign and my rising sign is a water sign. He realized that one of the reasons why I don't care to be around water too much, if not at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have five, I think it's five or six planets in water. So I have enough water you in my chart. You are soaked. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Wow. Yes. I have enough water in my chart that I don't need to be around water. I don't need, I don't need to be in water. The most <laughs> water I want to be in is when I take a shower and, and I'm, I'm very good after that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess I won't ever invite you sailing then. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just find it really interesting, you know, when people talk about being on a boat. I'm like, that's a whole lot of water to be around. I'm like, hmm, I'm <laughs> not quite sure I know what to, I know what to do with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, my, my philosophy is as long as it's on uh, the outside of the boat, then I know I'm good. Right. Right. Yeah, I guess I can. I guess I can go with that. I guess. <laughs> I'd probably need to wear the one thing your granddaughter does not want to wear. The you know, life jacket, the life, yeah. The life jacket. <laughs> and know, there's nothing wrong you're 51, that. I would need to have it on because, you know, or hold on really, really tight. Yeah, I would be that person. <laughs> 
It would be good. It would be fine. No, it's it, it, no. I, I get that. I've worked. One of my past lives is I was a swim instructor, and one of my um, gifts, I guess you could say, is I have a very good uh, ability to teach people who are afraid of water, and I mean terrified of water, how to swim. Mm -hmm. It's that they're comfortable. They go from being terrified, pasted up against a wall, to actually swimming laps. And yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll share. I'll share a really quick funny story in regards to teaching me how to swim. When <laughs> I was when I was taking my daughter at the age of two to her swimming classes mm -hmm. and getting her ready to get into the pool, does the swimming swimming instructor come over to me and whisper to me, "You may want to invite your mom to come with you." So your daughter will feel more comfortable in the water because she can sense you don't like the water. Yep. I was like, oh. So I went home the next that day and I said, mom, I will, my daughter's next swimming class is such and such. You might have to come with me because the swimming instructor suggests someone else to go in the water with her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that it's okay. That. I've actually, you're not the only parent that that's happened to. I have actually, I, I had had to invite parents to leave the building it's oh. like oh can you go behind the door Let, let's start with that you go behind the door in order to get their kids to actually get in the water it, yeah yeah i wasn't that bad i was okay yeah. if I was in the water if she was mm. in the water i was fine but if, as long as i didn't have to go in the water with her i was very happy yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So i yeah, have to go in there with her they're like yes she needs a grown-up to hold her while she's learning i'm like oh I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> so is your daughter a good swimmer? She's an excellent swimmer. There you go. So, yeah, then, she's an excellent swimmer. Awesome. My two sisters are excellent swimmers. Once upon a time, I think I was an excellent swimmer, but somewhere along the line, I just stopped going in water. <laughs> well, Norma um, in our chat said that you're well hydrated, Joanne. <laughs> you are extremely well hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Ironically enough, as funny as that sounds, in regards to medical astrology, water signs, specifically Pisces, but all the other ones as well, and considering all three of us do have water in our chart, no. we are the, um, they classify us as the most bloated signs there are because we're so <laughs> full of water. <laughs> Okay. Well, we, do need to, we do need to be careful and cautious because, you know, our body system just has a lot of water energy in it. Mm -hmm. So bloat is something we are, uh, have to be concerned about. Gotcha. <laughs> now, Scorpio is a fire sign, right? No, Scorpio is a water sign. Oh, okay. Water. Yeah, so Scorpio, that's how I've got. And, yeah. yes. and aren't you a double Scorpio? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a Libra with a Scorpio rising and a Scorpio moon. So yeah, yeah. So you're double water. Yes. Right. Double but the water. Libra is air, which makes sense yeah. of my first experience going underwater because that we were at a pool friend of, uh, with a bunch of friends and friends, big brothers, like you want to go underwater? I'll take you across the pool. And I'm like, I didn't want to be uncool, but I was petrified, right? I was absolutely petrified. So he's got me in his arms and he goes, to, you know, we go under the surface and my hand pops up because as long as I could feel the air, I was fine. Yes. Other yeah. than that, I completely panicked. <laughs> yeah, which is funny because I have, I have an, uh, my moon sign is there, which is Aquarius. Mm -hmm. So you would think, yeah. But no, I'd much rather be out in the air. <laughs> I would think Aquarius would be a water sign. Why is it not a water yeah, no, sign? Aquarius yeah. Is, yeah, Aquarius is air. Mm -hmm. yeah. We just we just figured that out because uh, I have an Aquarian. My son, my younger son is an Aquarian. And it was funny, for the longest time, we were like, oh, an Aquarian. Aquarians are a water sign. And Jenna, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, she goes, no, mom. An Aquarius is an air sign. I'm like, are you sure about that? <laughs> right? It doesn't yes, for a very long time, many people thought that Aquarius was air, uh, water. Mm -hmm. Air. Yeah, it's yeah. air. Yeah. It's air. Yes. Cool. Thank God for that, because I can't imagine if I had another sign that was water. Could you only imagine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We would not know what to do with me. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would be the truth. <laughs> that would be the truth. <laughs> 
Awesome Love stuff. Them. All right. Well, let's, do you want to do my segment first? You want to talk a little bit about our weekly giveaway winner? Um, let's do your segment. I mean, we will we'll do the tease right now, yeah. right? Yeah. Because mm. yeah, because Krista was responsible for ever the for the giveaway gift this week. So please tell us what you've offered. <laughs> do the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, I offered for this week, and I don't have it. I actually do. Um, it, a negative Nelly neutralizing crystal kit, mojo bag. That's yes. what it is. Sorry, not a kit. <laughs> I do have those as well, but no, not that one. Um, the negative Nelly neutralizing mojo bag. I and so, it. yes. And um, that was, I thought it was last week because we, we did that one. Yes, but we'll be awarding it today. Oh, we will be because we awarded, well, I can award it to another person because oh, we awarded you? it to Tracy last week. We did. That's who's supposed to be receiving it. We just didn't tell anybody until just now. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, last week uh, we picked her. All right. You know what? So Tracy. <laughs> my haircut, it just cut off lots of my memory. That's all. We'll just blame that on the haircut. I haven't been socializing, people. I really am forgetting how. Uh <laughs> I absolutely adore that you and, and all of this, how this is unfolding, because this is so much fun. It really is. All right, let's talk about Gail's segment here. Gail's creative commands. And this week, we're going to talk about the difference between finding peace and numbing out. <laughs> Um, which is, oh, well. you know, we've been talking about addiction and, and how amethyst helps um, balance that, that higher thought with that lower density of whatever you use to numb out, whether it's pharmaceuticals, whether it's food, whether it's alcohol, whether it's shopping. I'm talking to you people at the Amazon Primes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, doesn't matter what it is. Or even just Facebook itself. When's the last time that you caught yourself just uber scrolling? You're not even reading anything. You're just uber yep. scrolling, right? And it's because there's something that happened that you've decided, nope, don't want to pay attention to that right now. And so on, right? So what is the difference between finding peace and numbing out? Well, finding peace will actually give you a sense of energy not a sense of drowsiness, right? It's a very low key, subtle energy that is just there for you to be able to access when you're needing to, right? Um, but there's a sense of, of peace of mind that inhabits your entire body. It can be gotten through uh, meditation. It can be gotten through sitting with crystals. It can be gotten through listening to music. Um, any of those things, or there's put in the comments, what's your favorite way to actually find peace, right? And you'll notice that these are significantly different than if I asked you to give me a list of the ways that you numb out, right? <laughs> Numbing out usually has some sort of consequence to it, some sort of dealing with something after the fact. So if you're having to do cleanup after doing what you think is finding you peace, then it's probably not. It's probably just a matter of numbing you out. So mm -hmm. what can you do on a daily basis to find that peace at the beginning of the day so that by the time 3, 4, 5 o'clock rolls around, you aren't completely overwhelmed, stressed, and needing that happy hour beverage, right? <laughs> Follow me here. We're, we're talking about meditation. We're talking about working with some of these crystals that we've talked to you about over the past few months now um, mm -hmm. and bringing the, that, um, that activity into a consistent everyday ritual or routine. Hello, crones. That <laughs> creates something in your life that, that, that you want to have there, right? Um, I don't know very many people that are proud of their collection of wine bottles in the garbage. 
just saying. But I certainly am, and Krista certainly is, proud of her collection of stones, right? Mm -hmm. So I highly encourage you that if you don't have a sample of any of the stones that we've talked about in these past weeks and months, reach out to Sue. If she doesn't find, have it for you, she knows where you can find it, and she'll help yeah. hook that up for you. Um, but mm -hmm. definitely take action on some of the things that you've been hearing from us because that's our entire purpose for you here is to, to bring you joy, to bring you peace of mind, and to give you a little bit of fun once a week. You know, um, we're <laughs> not going to necessarily s stop wars with this podcast. We're not going to create world peace with this podcast. But if we bring you on average 30 minutes <laughs> of joy with a one hour podcast, hell yeah, the world has changed for me and for you and for Krista and for Joanne, if only for mom one moment, one day a week. So I just mm -hmm. want to say thank you so much for joining us and coming back week after week and listening to us laugh at each other and have fun with us <laughs> and comment in the comments so that we can bring you into our little Tuesday party. So thanks so much for being here. All right, my ladies, let me give them one more little reminder for Sue at Class Act Imports. Again, if there's anything you need, please reach out. Well, stone-wise, that is. Reach out to Sue. <laughs> she probably doesn't have coffee enough to share, but, you know. <laughs> anyway. But reach out to Sue, and if she's got it, fantastic. If not, ask her where you can find it among her, her tribo people. Um, and mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you for doing that. Awesome. All right. So let's talk about to this week's winner, Tracy Paquin. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing. If you would like to be in the consideration for uh, our weekly giveaway, the whole thing is basically like this broadcast, comment on this broadcast, <laughs> and share this broadcast. And Friday, we will go through all of the people who have done all of those little hoop jumping and pick one of them for, uh, for to be the winner. Now, we, we really would love for you also, and this is separate from the weekly giveaway. Like, comment, and share for the weekly giveaway, okay? I'm gonna dig something out of my personal collection for the viewer who refers the most new Ooh. members to this group by that means they have to like it yeah they like they the have, page yep they have to like the our page. page the group the group yeah yep. so i yeah. the the easiest way that i think we can do this is to have you um tag those people in a comment in the group or you know like i'll Krista, can you put up like a post mm -hmm. for that yep. to happen? So tag your friends in the comment of Krista's post. Yep. And of those ones that like what they see and like the page, that's going to be your points towards next, this, this separate gift that's going to come from my personal collection. All Ooh. right? So yeah. Can't wait. I'm excited about it. Okay, cool. That's awesome. I like that. Like That's that? really exciting. Yeah, Very we need cool. to. Yeah, because the more people remember, guys, the more you guys like our page, get other people to like our page, you know, like our threads, comment on our threads. You know what? That lets Facebook know or YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube or wherever that, hey, what we have to say is kind of entertaining. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and who doesn't want to hear about bras and or crystals and bras? Right. Uh, <laughs> right. There should be more men in this group with the, the way we talk, I swear. <laughs> they would learn. They would learn our secret. Yeah, that's the problem. We don't want to tell them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Scratch that. Okay. <laughs> so. So, Joanne, tell me, what do you have on tap this week? What's coming up for you? 
Uh, oh and I God. don't mean like surfaces, you know, issues rising to the surface. I mean, what do you <laughs> got on offer this week? <laughs> well, I'm still working on my amazing five week ladies. Weights are your friend. When that what, what that includes is chew one on one or group personal training sessions per week, one Reiki chakra balance treatment per week, and mm. also two functional nutrition coaching sessions over the five week period. And that program's taking place right now. Anybody who's interested in learning more, signing up, I highly recommend that you mention that you heard this here so you can get an additional $99 off the total rate. Wow. And all you need to do is email healingwithin76 at gmail.com. But when you email, put in a little memo that you heard this here from Three Crones, and you're going to get that $90, $99 off the regular rate. Fantastic. So, That's an awesome important. deal. Awesome deal. That is. Krista, I know you're still working with your beta. What else is happening too? I am. I'm still working with my beta group, which is really exciting. We're on Energy 2 this week. And um, my other exciting thing that's going to take place is Genevieve's getting her wisdom teeth removed. So kind of, you know, that's my life right now. Uh <laughs> I, will send, so, I will send Jen lots of love and energy because I remember when I got mine done and I looked like a raccoon for two days. Yeah, so yeah, she's, she has to get that done on Thursday. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my week. I do have some things cooking. And um, yeah, I'm just I'm like one step at a time. Stick with the beta group. I am doing sessions with people. Anybody wanting to do a distant Reiki crystal healing session, reach out to me. Um, you can find me at Dimensional Healing with Krista on Facebook. And you can email me at dimensional healing with Krista at gmail.com and we can we can schedule something. And here's the really cool thing. The majority of those of you who are watching this, I can give you your Reiki heal, crystal healing session while you sleep because I, it's my waking hours. Mm. So you want to amplify your session. It is it, it's it's like pretty it's it's rocking. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, that, that sounds really, really good. A Reiki session it while you're is. sleeping. I had, um, I had somebody that did uh, some biofeedback stuff um, that was while I was sleeping just before I normally wake up. Um, mm -hmm. And wow. I mean, you really do feel... You know, like you wake up feeling different. It's not like, yeah, whatever happened and I'm not aware of it. You're like, you mm -hmm. wake up aware that something has happened mm -hmm. and it feels good. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's awesome yeah. stuff. Me, yeah, I, am, I am still doing? working on the, the beta as well for making miracles. Mm -hmm. And um, our second group call is tomorrow. It's been moved a little bit later. I know you probably won't be able to join us for that because of the move. Um, yeah. <laughs> but we have we have a couple of people that are that were like, I can't make it at that time of day. So I'm like, well, I don't really want to work that late into the evening, my time. But you know what? It's, if it's not deliverable, it's not deliverable. So yeah. I actually do need people to be in the space with me um, for mm -hmm. the that beta that we're doing. So if you want to join into it, um, you, there are still a couple of spaces that I can, I can squish people to the side, um, <laughs> and <laughs> let you in. And, um, uh, it's as like, long as you remain COVID friendly, right? It's that's all right. COVID friendly. That's right. I wear gloves. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and aside from that, I do also have the, the, the one-on-one -on -one work as well. So if you've got mm -hmm. something that you just feel like you keep bumping up against and you know where it came from, right? You know, ever since this happened, I've been this way and you want to stop being that way, reach out mm -hmm. to me because we can make it happen in less than an hour and a half. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, alrighty. Now I want to make sure that everyone um, knows where to find us. Uh, that is on YouTube, Facebook, and at gailnicholson.com. We uh, broadcast live 
every week from those three places. So if you don't get to catch the show here on Facebook, you can catch it on YouTube within usually about a couple hours unless I screw up the sound and I have to take a day to edit it. Um, (laughs) (laughs) It You fixed it. I did. I did. And it was beautiful. I was so proud of myself. Um, (laughs) But I would like to take a moment also to thank our sponsors. Uh, there is Dimensional Healing with Krista Ducharme, Creative Command Coaching and Consulting with Gail Nicholson, and Holistic Fitness New York with Joanne Angelberry Cologne. And of course, all of this is underwritten by the material holdings of uh, GailNicholson.com. It's just another way of saying that uh, we're using the company, you know, machinery here. <laughs> all right so and also sorry i'm flopping around here like this but i want to make sure one more time go visit sue you've got a marching order to go collect some rose quartz and some amethyst today from sue at class act imports so do that and report back to us all righty now uh one last thank you to all of you to my cohorts here that make Tuesdays so much fun, and to those of you that keep showing up that make it worth doing for the public as opposed to just getting together for an yeah. hour to chat, right? <laughs> thanks right. for making this worth um, sharing, um, mm-hmm. and thanks for being someone willing to share it with us. All right? That's it. Awesome. All right, everybody, have a fantastic, fantastic week, and we'll see you soon. Bye.